Hello friends and welcome back to Immortal Legacy, the Jade Cipher only on PlayStation VR. So, here we are once again back in Immortal Legacy. It has been a while, a long while, not just since I've played Immortal Legacy, but since I've played my PlayStation VR at all. I got my Oculus Rift S, I got my Oculus Quest, and I've pretty much been in the oculus ecosystem for about two solid months and um, when I first put my headset back on just a few minutes ago and got into my PlayStation UI and started scrolling through the incredible library of games all of a sudden I started to feel a bit foolish because I remembered what it is I love so much about PlayStation VR, the games. And here's one such example, Immortal Legacy, The Jade Cipher. I feel like I've made it pretty deep into this game now, but I haven't played it in a while, so it's hard for me to remember exactly what I'm doing here. I do know a couple of things. One, I just cleared this mining facility. Uh, I used a big magnetic crane to move some shipping containers so that I could gain entrance into this cave which I did find literature earlier that uh, forebode anyone from coming in here so there's dangerous stuff in this cave that I can remember uh, the other thing I know is that this game has gotten some pretty substantial updates since I was in it last now it has a conventional move controller uh, locomotion uh, 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 control scheme you know it was one of the bigger complaints against this game when it came out is it had such an odd control scheme so different than anything else and after a while you get used to it but uh, I gotta say I'm glad that there's options in here now not only can I turn with by reflex now because the buttons are what they normally are but now I can smooth turn with no blinders and the movement speeds faster so that's awesome so let's get in here and see what dangers lie just beyond the darkness alright so I need to get a flashlight out and the best way to do that as I recall is with a two-handed weapon because two-handed weapons automatically have flashlights How do I just go to an empty hand here? I just want to go to an empty hand. That's all. There we go. Don't have much ammo here, but I do have a, a gun and a flashlight together, so that's something. Oh yeah, and even though I got used to those, the original controls to this game, it's so much nicer just to have normal controls again. Alright, let's let go here and I guess that was some ammo. Not for this gun though, huh? I'll take these files. <laughs> All right. Explosive barrel generally indicates there's a fight coming. Whenever you see this, generally there's something coming that you can blow up. Which actually is not the best thing right now. There's some more ammo. Again, not for this gun. But it's been so long since I've even played anything on PlayStation VR, let alone this game. It's going to take me a minute to get used to it. There's a puzzle box there, so there'll be an artifact in that. Well, 
What's behind the curtain, boss? There's a path back there, it looks like, anyway. Or is this one of those projector screens? There were projectors earlier. No, there's another one there. Okay, let's solve this crazy difficult puzzle box. How will I ever figure it out? I didn't even see what that was. It looked like it was uh, one of those first aid deals. Yeah, one of these that I have 16 of. I don't know if I've even had to use one of them yet. <laughs> Yet yeah, being the operative word. All right, let's move on. Here's something. It sounds like there's gas moving through these pipes, which is a cool effect. Another forklift. Looks like some more. Another mining site, but I hear enemies. I hear laughter. It's not an enemy. There's a dude over there. Hey, dude. Would you happen to know where Cookie Pie is? I've been looking all over for her. That dude's laugh sounds like the laugh of a crazy person. I'm gonna look around a bit before I go and engage. What is that? Oh, it's another one of those charts that show you how people have, uh, how they transform into the enemy creatures. Looks like there's another elevator or lift maybe over there. I don't know. Man, it feels nice to have normal controls. Alright, let's see what the deal is with this dude. We don't know if he's gonna attack us or he may be, he doesn't look like he's infected or anything. He just looks like he's on bathtub crank or something. What you doing there, buddy? Cutting out some lines? told them we had to get out. But did anyone listen? No, of course not. Uh, I can't take any more. Don't do that, dude. Stop him, character of mine. Uh, what? Who are you? Huh? Uh, I thought everyone was dead. Steady now. What? You're from Alpha Team? What took you so long? You gotta get out! <coughs> what happened here? Uh, don't touch me! Get back! Please, get back! Maybe he is infected. Sent down into this hellish place. Left here to die. My whole team! Gone! Oh, man. You, you wouldn't believe what we found. I've Mummies, seen. Zombies. The living yeah. dead. 
Yeah, I saw. Oh, man. They knew. They tricked us all. I warned them. Told them not to trust those bastards in their fancy suits. Well, they're all gone. And it's time for me to go, too. Holy crap, dude. Good luck, friend. <laughs> that was evil. <laughs> I don't want to walk in there now. I don't want to play with puzzle boxes. I just want to get cookie pie and go home. Dun dun. Another artifact. Alright, so you see what's in my future, folks. I've got these crazy looking demon monsters that want to eat my head. And there's a code cipher. We'll need that to get through that door over there. Yeah, I'll grab you in just a minute. I want to look at this first. It's July 16th and we're losing control. Azaru appeared a few days ago, killing Wang Zhichang and Lu Yundong. Then the lock on the safety door of the anesthesiology room failed. And a number of them escaped. They killed Wang Li at the main gate and made it out. They triggered the alarm and we held gate two for several days, but we lost a lot of people. The mains electricity failed. The mains electricity failed on two days ago. And we were overwhelmed. We were going to evac through the transit system, but some of the Zaru woke up in the transportation facility and escaped their cages. Most of the workers in there died. I ran to the cave and blew the tunnel. So this dude's just hanging out here, studying monsters and other things. <laughs> I guess, man, if it's your last day on earth, what else are you going to do? Alright, so I don't think it lets me put this in my inventory. I have to carry this by hand. Can I carry it left-handed? At least, so I can shoot right-handed. Here, we'll get the submachine gun. Yeah, I must walk. But I have no light if I do it this way. Hmm. To be careful. to put gasoline in the uh, generator so I can have some lights. Start this thing up, make a bunch of noise, draw some enemies over, and get killed. Yep, what I say. See it over there? I 
Thing's evil looking, man. Alright. But I'm still alive. Spiders. Way too much ammo to kill that thing. All right, do not open this box. Apparently, and man, I know I've said it on the earlier episodes that I've made from this game, but kudos to these developers at uh, Viva Games. Because this is a good looking game. To come from an unknown independent developer. This thing looks nice. Alright, so here we are. This is why I needed this card. You have to hold it up to this, like so. Let me see, five, three, four, two. Five, three. If you can hear the noises I hear, this is probably not a good idea. Four. Oh boy, here we go. Two. There's explosives in here. See these lasers? These are rigged explosives. I did not mean to do that. It works though. What? What's that? Why are the rocks shifting? There's water coming out. Not the most realistic looking water in the world, but it'll do. I'm trying to walk behind these lasers if I can. the uh, enemies but it also hurt me see if I can draw some of them through this yeah that worked still have one more here too look at that guy he's got shrapnel through his chest so I've got one more here if I need to draw Draw another one of these things over. There we go. I like the reload mechanic on here. You just shake your gun. It's smart. Because anyone who knows anything about um, move controls you shake them uh, if you're having drift issues you can shake it out kind of resets the tracking so by making that the reload mechanic you're constantly resetting your tracking it's very smart 
see what kind of thing we have here. For those of you that don't know, we are looking for the Jade Cipher. That's why we're coming down here. And we're looking for the doctor. Zha Wing or whatever his name is. I don't really remember. Okay. Back to it. Looks like we have some overturned cages. Probably that once contained the things that I just killed. These look like coffins. Rock slide. Can I go this way? I can. Wow, there's lots of them. I wonder if they excavated these coffins. I was thinking at first that maybe they were trying to bury their dead, but it looks like maybe they excavated these coffins. Maybe this is where all this evil is coming from. I don't think that was an actual enemy that could hurt me. I think that was put there to jump scare me. Now this one can hurt me. Well, that one actually got me a little bit. <laughs> Piss off. Buddy. Piss off, buddy. Alright. Onward we go. <laughs> nice. Nice level design. There we go. Some more explosive barrels. See if we can draw this guy over here. And then. Boom! There's another one over there. Oh crap, this one's shooting at me. I'm out of ammo. Shotgun took care of him. Something about shooting zombies with shotguns you just love. There's another shotgun, identical. Got the ammo from it, awesome. But I do need to change weapons so that I can have a flashlight. Unless I just want to carry a flashlight, which I can also do. Man, these developers really nailed the sensation of being in a cave full of zombie creatures. Eerie. feel like the stakes are raising <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about that there's something crawling over there alright we've got explosive barrels over here maybe we can lure them into you crap is this a boss? 
I don't know. This music's freaking me out though. I can't even tell if I'm hurting this thing. Oh, it can climb the walls. That's not good. Run. Crap, I'm out of ammo. sucks I wanted to kill it I used like a freaking hundred rounds on that thing I'm about out of ammo on everything too that is not good got shotgun ammo I guess and I've got explosives We need to draw the shotgun. Is that thing coming back? I hear something. There's my flashlight. Alright, let's go. Hopefully there's some ammo around here somewhere. I'm gonna come down on my head. Well, it's still over here. It didn't leave me alone at all. I'm supposed to be breaking the boxes. <laughs> 